Hey YouTubers, and welcome back to another Bleach discussion video, actually. We haven't done one of these for a while, but I actually have the last two guys I had for the last Bleach video on this video today, and we're going to talk about something that I kind of noticed reading Bleach and watching Bleach and everything. I'm not necessarily caught up, but these guys are, and they're going to kind of tell me whether I'm right or not, because honestly, I don't know right now. I just thought it was really interesting. So first off, we have One Piece Nation. One Piece, you want to say hi to everyone? Hey. I swear to God, like here Kurosaki Kung one more time, I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> that is my intro. <laughs> On the other hand, okay, guys, and we also have uh, Zeno Z Snake. There will, I'll just call him Z, uh, Snake from now on, actually. So, Snake, you want to say hi? Yo, um, we need to hear more Kurosaki Kung, but just like a little support, <laughs> a little support every now and then. <laughs> you know, it's fine to say Kurosaki Kun. Just like use your like powers, or he may. Thank you. <laughs> you know, do something. <laughs> okay, guys. So today, I have approached y'all with a question, and I am approaching everyone watching this video with a particular question about Bleach and whether you think that this is one of the biggest. You know, one of the biggest, the greatest thing about Bleach, or the probably the thing that that's most detrimental, or in my opinion, probably a little bit of both. But that's essentially uh, Kubo's writing style, his in his ridiculous writing style for this entire series. And when I say that, what I really mean is essentially he comes into any type of new arc or any new story, and he goes, you know what? I have a plan. I have a path that I'm going to be writing for this entire series or this entire arc or this story or this character and he goes all right we're gonna go down this path and everything and then he gets kind of excited about other things that are happening in this story other characters other destinations other kind of mythology building concepts and instead of focusing on someone like ichigo or odahime or anyone else chad or something rukia he goes off and does something else. <laughs> like he goes or off. Doesn't focus on it. You go and focus it on where he lay in bed. <laughs> exactly. He focuses on someone else, something else, some other fight, some other dynamic relationship that's been building in the background and has no relevance to what we're doing right now. And that's not. That's awesome. But then he kind of comes back and he he comes back. He goes this way he goes that way it's all over the place but then he'll come back inevitably in the end always with someone like uh with someone like Udihara or uh, Sosuke Aizen or someone to go yeah but all that stuff you read or all that stuff you watched at the very end is all kind of grouped together because I planned it or I knew exactly where everything was going I, I planned all this stuff and it seems incredibly convenient I really like that stuff but I feel like that is actually the biggest detriment to the entire series as a whole. It feels really kind of Frankenstein together. And I kind of wanted to get y'all's points for that. What do y'all think? Well, first of all, I just have to say, uh, come forth, my son, born in darkness. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, yes, I agree. It is a major problem because it really, it really becomes a plot device you can just implement at any time. And you also then have the character that are just so intelligent, you might as well call them a god because they have a solution to everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember a couple of, in, in the manga that I they brought Aizen out of prison and they were like, "Hey, Aizen, we need help." And Aizen was just like, "Okay, I could I could help you without even being taken off of this chair that steals <laughs> off my Ryasu." I can't use. I can only use like two percent of my power, but I can solve half your problems because I'm Ivan. <laughs> I mean, if he if he hadn't become so broken and didn't have a pro answer to everything, yeah, it would be a lot more interesting. Well, is that like what do you think, Snake? Is that a, is that a detriment or is that something that's really interesting to have these kind of godlike characters who would basically just know all the solutions to every single problem? It, it's it's detrimenting when you use it more than once. And like you said, Kubo has used it definitely more than once. For <laughs> example, with Aizen and Juha. But, I mean, to me, I'm just kind of used to it. But to other people, I see how people wouldn't like that. And I completely understand it. I mean, to, like I just said, it doesn't bother me because I'm used to Bleach. And it's my favorite series. But... To other people, I definitely see how 
that it kind of feels like a copy paste kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, do you, do y'all appreciate, so when you have these characters, like I've been talking about, when you have these characters that kind of come in and go, well, all this kind of side action, side drama, melodrama, whatever, and it would all meant something. I planned for all these kind of interactions and all this stuff to happen. I, in all this stuff we've explored has been for, hasn't been for not. It's actually been leading to something. I really appreciate that. Do y'all appreciate that? Like, would y'all rather just kind of stick with Ichigo or some of the other side characters and not have to branch off into so many different places and people and situations and powers and all that? Or is that one of the things that really brings, is that one of the like quirky things that really brings Bleach together and makes it feel like it's unique original series? Well, <laughs> I think me and Snake will probably agree. It would be nice if we could date a main character more. Like, Snake, <laughs> how, when, like, we're currently dating Ichigo but had a big fight in the manga. When was the last time he got a real fight? Ivan? I'm pretty, it would, it would, it yeah, would, it would, no, it would, Ginja. So, no, it would, what, Ginja, right? A real right? fight, Aizen. Yeah, real a real fight, fight Aizen, Aizen, but the last full fight, like, full lengthy fight he had would probably Ginja, way back in my previous arc. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. and last, I mean, I guess you could include what he did, the guest to go to Jeek show against those Stern Ritters, but still, that <laughs> still got, can, can Posty had already really fucked those guys up, I mean, there wasn't oh. really, and there's no real plot to this. What is he going? Well, just, like, he's just there to be the main character at this point. I know, I, he's just like, before we got the fight between Juhabak, which is still ongoing in the manga, like, he had not had, like, a full fight, just like you said. I, I agree on that. Acted. Maybe not up to back to Grim Joe. He did have a full fight against, uh, I'm trying to remember, uh, Ginjo. I remember him now. Yeah. I know it's full bring off, but that was actually a full fight, although Ichigo wrecked him. <laughs> I mean, that's still a full fight. Yeah, it was still, the only thing we got is when he did the get to go to show. And when he, he was annihilated by Newham in the beginning of the arc, and when he broke Ichigo Bankai, I mean. Yeah. So so y'all think it's a detriment just because we're not we're not actually spending enough time with our main character of this entire show? Yeah, actually, no, it's not just Ichigo. It's most of the main characters. I mean, what? How long did we go without seeing Rukia by? Or like, or like Ch Chad hasn't even fought the, what, the Soul <laughs> Society arc? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, he actually or a did, teammate like, does not fight at all. No, I mean, never. Which, at this point, I I would love to see somebody actually fight. I mean, we see more side characters fight than we do main character, which is a kind of does make people care a little bit less. I I I am of the opinion that yes, it's it's one of those things that's incredibly strange, but also it's nice to see. Side characters fight and get a lot of character development. I care. Honestly, I've said it before. Orihime is my favorite character, but I actually really like a lot of the side characters in that show. I care far more about them than any of the main characters to some degree. Well, or, well did you just say Orihime is your favorite character? I did, and everyone can come from my cheeks in the comments section. No, no, because... I meant the Orihime, the, or, you're, Orihime the main character. Okay, but my point is... is some of the side characters I really like as well. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the other. I, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't have a problem with Orihime. Orihime is pretty cool, but yeah. Ichigo is my favorite. I guess it's because it's main characters, but... I mean, he used to be mine, but I, I'm starting to forget why I like him. <laughs> I do that sometimes with Bleach, uh, but then I just, like, I, I'll rewatch stuff and reread stuff when I do that. So it's it's helpful to, like, Reread Bleach or rewatch it if you start forgetting or, or more like forgetting what why you like it. In a way, it's better to like just reread it and rewatch it and everything. Yeah, so instead of waiting for something epic. Yeah. So, so y'all think just to kind of close this out, y'all. So this whole the way Kubo writes, y'all think it's a detriment. The best thing about it is it kind of one and the same to some degree where you have like, oh man, maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Has I'll, it been played out? But I feel like I feel like what you're really targeting, what you're really trying to get at is the fact that he jumps around. Like, oh, you'll yeah. have this big epic moment with like Ichigo and one chapter, and everybody will have waited months for 
And then you'll switch from that over to a fight between, I don't know, uh, you know, like, Rukia and, I don't know, like, Kika for some <laughs> yeah. reason. It's like, nobody care. Yeah, yeah, and then... And then they'll set up a fight like this. Like there's, they'll set up a fight that you really want to see, something that like has kind of been building in the background. And then they'll they'll go to it, and then instantly they'll jump over to something else that's far less interesting. Yeah, yeah, that it really does hurt the series a lot. I mean, mm-hmm. if you look around like comments and stuff, that's what people will talk about. That's not, that's one of the many things people will talk about on why they don't like Bleach or why they're hating on Bleach is that it skips around so much, and it doesn't honestly bother me because I'm used to it, because I've been, you know, reading and watching Bleach for a while. But, I mean, really, when when you do that all the time, people are not going to like that. I mean, literally, you'll set up a fight, and then all of a sudden you'll just switch over to another fight. Mm-hmm. And they'll repeatedly do that. I mean, you won't, like, finish most of the fights till like, the end of the arc. Or mm-hmm. sometimes you skip them entirely. Yeah. And <laughs> the quad zero. <laughs> let's just, let's ignore that. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I got. Uh, no, actually, Kurosaki-kun. There. Kurosaki-kun. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do mine. I'll, I'll butcher it. <laughs> okay, guys. But anyway, uh, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. These beautiful people, their channels and will be in the description below. Make sure to give them a look, look and see. Uh, Subscribe to them if you're willing and everything. And hope everyone has a good day. Bye.